Tentos and broadcast. What's up, Dwight Curley? How you doing? O'Gage Trains. How you doing? How's railroading doing? Pretty good. Kyle Stevens. Welcome, 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 welcome. How's everybody doing? Can you hear me okay? That's some Christmas music on. Hi, Nissy J. How are you? Um, let me lower my music a little bit. Yeah, that's better. I just turned my music down. Dwayne, what's up, Dwayne? How's everybody doing? Seth, what's going on, Seth? How's everybody doing tonight? I'm about to run Lionel trains. Twenty thirty-seven. What is twenty thirty-seven? <laughs> Seth, did you see where uh, the train hit the trolley? Pretty messed it up pretty well. <laughs> hey, Joe Raider, how are you? Jerry, is that is this Seth? Huh? Oh, yeah. Sorry, no comment there. <laughs> I thought you were asking me something about Seth. That's funny. I was going crazy about your... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I caught that this this afternoon. Uh, you'll have plenty of time to catch that. Don't worry. <laughs> What's everybody up to? So did you see on the news, Seth, where the train hit the trolley? Or the trolley hit the train? I don't know. <laughs> it's not like either one of them could get out of the way. I know, steam engine. Oh, okay. I thought that was like a year or something. <laughs> uh, it was on the news, Seth. Where you been? Charlie didn't derail, but they were pretty lucky. Yeah, Darby Diamond, the only place where it can happen. What's up? <laughs> What's up, Dave's Trains? How you doing? Painted the tunnel. It's about time. <laughs> Getting lunch before work. It's a good idea. You pack dinner with you, Kyle. How's it going, Dave? Added another layer of paint to your water feature. How's your water feature coming along? Did you use uh, the Woodland Scenics water or something, Nessie? Don't eat dinner now. I wait till I'm home. Oh, man, you wait a long time. Do you bring anything to snack on for all this time? That's a long time to go without eating.
Bought some cherry and ambrosia maple. Wow, man, you're getting fancy now. What are you going to do with that stuff, Dave? Ambrosia maple. Was that stuff expensive? That's exciting. Got three boxcars. Gloss coated for Jack Jack. Waiting on something. Data. Uh, decals. Data decals. Huh? Still trying to get the right shade of blue. No, I haven't bought the wood. So what did you use for your water, Nessie? Does anybody know how to fix the sound on the Lionel trains? 2037. No idea. Maybe Seth does. What's up, Ian? How are you? I might stop at the gas station and pick up a snack. That's a good plan, Kyle. I sat down to film my painting, my model. Ah, don't let me interrupt you. <laughs> how much uh, more you got uh, to do for that thing, Nessie? Like, how many more shows are you guys going to do for that? Dwayne, are you home or you're on the road? Four dollars and eight by six board foot. Four dollars and eight for six board feet. Is that what it is, Dave? Four bucks is pretty cheap. That's cheap. Four dollars a board foot, and eight dollars a board foot. Is that what you you're talking? That's a good price for cherry. I'm guessing cherry is four dollars. I have an order for two kitchen tables. Oh my gosh! Wow, good for you. Eating bacon pizza. That sounds pretty good. Still painting bottom before I add WS water to it. Okay, so you're going to use the Woodland Scenics water. That's cool. On the road. Where are you at, Dwayne? In your truck? Not sure of the number of shows. Okay, that's what I'm having. Each board was 8 foot by 6 inches. Oh, okay. Gotcha. What's up, Cameron? Was on before starting some cleaning. No, don't stop! Uh, don't let me stop you from cleaning. You better go clean. <laughs> I haven't had pizza in a while. Good pizza. It's rough on lumber, and of course, it has to dry. Okay. Get us all some coffee, Dave. <laughs> well, I don't need no coffee right now. Service Plaza on the Ohio Toll Road. <sighs> in the truck, I'm guessing. Or are you in the service plaza? When are you going to be home? Tomorrow? So, Nissi, you're not going to do uh, the water like John did his water, the epoxy? Or you already have your wooden scenics water? Home sometime tomorrow. That's good. Any snow out there, Dwayne? I don't know what part of the higher you're in. And Pappy says he had snow the other day. I'm cleaning, but I'm so much better to have something going on. Okay, clean away, Cameron. <laughs> we'll be here. When you want to take a break. 
this cold, yeah. Cold air too. It's that time of the year. Easier and possibly less leakage issues. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I think it's going. If it's going to leak, it's going to leak no matter what. But it's probably easier to use. What's up, Ken Amos? How are you? From the PA Ohio border, Steve eighty seven PSAP. What's up? Yeah, so you're pretty close then. Are you like northern, eastern? Like, where are at? Northern part of PA border or like the southern part? Like, you're kind of close to home. Joe Raider. When's the Timonium show, Joe? Isn't it coming up soon? It's like four o'clock there, Steve. It's early for you. Well, it's kind of like the end of the work day, sort of, right? North Youngstown. Hmm. Don't know where it is, but okay. Holy shit. What time do you get on the road, Dwayne? Or like to get on the road by when you're away like that? guessing you got to pick something up or you got to drop something off tomorrow, right? Your Christmas train under the tree is awesome. I'm hoping to do something similar next year. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Man, Ian did such a good job. It's fun to watch his uh, son uh, watch the train and get excited as he sees the train go in the tunnel. It goes around so fast. You know, it goes in and then it comes out before <laughs> before you know it. It's funny to watch them, too. <laughs> but he did a good job. Usually 5 or 6 a.m. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's early. <laughs> hmm. Delivery in Cleveland tomorrow morning. Cleveland! You're inviting Rick over and putting a tree around him? I don't think so, Steve87. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, I really like that train. Uh, his uh, layout that he did. You can probably uh, just make video of him watching the train, and it would just be funny. <laughs> It'd be funny to watch him. Watch the train, watch him camp. Yeah, it is. It's got to be. Oh, man, I can't stop yawning. Shit. Oh, sugar.
So I'm gonna pop this up if anybody wants to come. Uh, come on out. Dang it. I'm just going to leave it up for a little bit. I tried taking it down the last time, and I wasn't successful at taking it down because somebody found it. I guess I can't take it down. But I can put myself in time out. How stupid is that? Block the user. Yeah, I can block myself. Yes, I can't take it down. Need to film painting my model, but YouTube has issues with music and copyright stuff. I need my music to paint. Put them on. Uh, put them in like your headphones. <laughs> Just listen in your headphones. Yeah. See, like I don't think they'll bother with uh, this instrumental music. Um, cause it's not really, who is it? You know, it's really probably, I don't, I don't think they will, but not so much as if, you know, Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra were singing. See you, Dave. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. Take care. You should be able to delete your entry. I can't, Steve. <laughs> I can't. You would think so. I can't even delete your entry. <laughs> I don't. That's stupid. You would think that I would be able to do that. But I can't. Yeah. I don't know what hot keys are. Oh. Guests. Play the sound when a guest enters. I uh, wonder what that'll do. Comments. <laughs> okay. We'll see. Steve 87, are you almost done uh, Nancy's uh, Nancy's project, or you still got a lot more to do? Shred that. Shred my pile to be shred. Yeah, that's weird. I wonder what that does. Uh yeah, I can't even time anybody. I can, I can't even time anybody out. I'm not even a mod on my own thing. <laughs> I, I don't. Know, I guess uh, what do you call it? Doesn't let you do it. I thought I could turn people moderators too, but I can't. I guess. Stupid. Getting closer. Should finish tomorrow. Really? So uh, do you have a delivery uh, date in mind? Is it going to be before Christmas, after Christmas? 2022? Something like that? What's it going to be? Have a mistake. I have to correct. Uh, a mistake in like your... Uh, what you're making, or in something that you typed, can't help you. Ooh, shoot. Nobody wants to come up, huh? Come on, Ian, what are you doing? Oh, Steve87. There he is. Ian, where are you at? Come on. Yes. Hey, Jerry, how's it going? Good. How are you, man? Good. Let me try to get in frame. There we go. There you go. 
<laughs> so, so I ran into a little bit of a problem on Nancy's project, and I have to fix it. So this is this is kind of a question to you in a way. Also, uh, so that's kind of why I came up. That's all right. Go ahead. Okay, so you know I use those little alignment pins, right? And I will say little. I thought that they were going to be a little bit bigger than what I want than what I thought. So they're like a quarter inch, so they go down to like one eighth inch on the alignment pins, and none of them line up from what I thought. The way that I drilled them all up. <laughs> so they make so like you drill a hole, right? Uh, they make uh, little dowel centers that fit in those holes, and they come um, in in different uh, different diameters. Yeah, yeah. So that like you could drill one side, put them together, and it it has like a little point on it where it will leave an impression on the mating part. Right. So you see exactly where you're doing it. Or you could just clamp them together and drill them together at the same time. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking I was going to just get rid of the alignment pins. Um, What's the alignment pin do? Just aligns it together. That's all. Just like, uh, you know, the dining Both room table. Top? Is that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I got yeah. you. Okay. So what I'm thinking uh, about doing is, is getting rid of the alignment pins. Yeah. And then um, putting in, this is going to be a little bit harder, but I also found out that um, I need some clamping pressure. So what I was thinking about doing was is putting in some drill insert, um, some screw inserts. So like what you said, oh, yeah. uh -huh. drill them together on one side and then put in drill yeah. inserts. Mm -hmm. And then that way you can use um, uh, a wing nut sort of thing to yeah. clamp them together and hold them together. That's kind of so what that's, that's what I did with my module, right? Uh -huh. I, I uh, put T-nuts in my yep. model right and then um i just i don't even i forget even how i lined them up i can't even remember so i screw my module down to my shelf and on my desk yep. you know yep. just with some t-nuts and yeah it works fine yeah okay. yeah that's pretty easy to do i mean yeah. Now the T nuts. Do you have them threading into another T nut, or do they just go open and they go into a bolt? So yeah, no. It's just it's just a T nut and then the bolt. You know. Okay. Yeah. So I just you know. Yeah, you just drill two holes, right? But the T nut side, one, one. You know, you could the T nut that you're. The hole that the T-nut's going to go into is going to be bigger than the uh, actual yep. hole. You know, yeah. so if you're threading the quarter 20, right, well, one side would be a quarter, and the other one might be like 5 sixteenths or mm -hmm. you know, because of the – you're fitting the outside diameter of the right. T-nut. So know? in other words, the best thing to do is find the diameter of the, of the fastener that I'm putting in. Yeah, get your you know, yeah. Drill that is the whole size, and then upsize it on the other yeah, side. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't matter that yeah. the other hole's bigger, you know. And it'll give it some. I mean, it'll give it a little bit of wiggle room. Yep. You know? but they're, you're just lining them up to put the track together, right? Yeah, yeah. The track will like, be together on so top. Like, like the sections that come together. How do you plan on doing your track there? So, well, Nancy's going to have to figure that out, but, <laughs> but um, she's oh, okay. actually going to use Kato Unitrack. And yeah. What we were thinking about doing is the Kato Unitrack. I got to get my hand straight here. Um, the Kato Unitrack will come up to an edge and then probably put in like a one inch Kato Unitrack that isn't glued down. And then it would fit into those two things. Right. You know, so you'd have like a circle but it would be like a one inch or one and a half inch unitrack piece that connected the two of them together. Cause on, yeah. on, on, in N scale, kato has got a great track to do this, but they don't oh, have it in HO oh. scale. Oh, I was going to say, they got that little extender. Yeah. Yep. They don't have that in HO. Huh? No, they don't have that in HO and it's really wow. bad. 
Because if it was in HO, that would really solve a lot of problems for a lot of different people for a lot of different things. Because I mean, it slides back and forth, you know? I don't know. I I don't know. Um, So that's kind of what I'm figuring on. It's just instead of, um, because I think one of Nancy's problems is she can't use her hand. So I was gonna, what I was attending to do was uh, the tables were gonna come together with magnetic clamping just right. to get them together and then to tighten them up was to use a couple of hand uh speed clamps but i think uh she can't do the grip and the uh the threaded ones the threads are so close to the bar that it's kind of you know tight in there at the bar to be able to get into so right. i figure well if i just use wing nuts that'll probably be a lot easier you know, once, yeah. 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 Look who else is here. So, yeah, Dwayne, it's HO. They only have those expand, expanders in um, N scale. Hi, Nessie. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> I like your hat. You got your little headphones on? Yeah. What are you listening to? You. <laughs> wow, okay. I thought you were listening to music, maybe. No. Okay. What are you doing over there? Well, I was trying to figure out the paint for my kit, and I realized I still had some Tamiya paint. So I was going to start filming it, but you guys are more interesting. So Okay. Well, I'm not going to be here long. Yeah. So, so what do you mean by figuring out your paint, DC? Just the colors? What color? Colors, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's got to be fashionable. Well, yeah. and... I. I don't know if I heard somebody say something about the Tamiya paints that the color of the cap tells you whether or not you can brush paint it or you have to airbrush paint or the box. Okay. Well, Steve's face says it all. So I just, I just made that up. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say yeah. most of the Tamiya yeah. paint covers are the color that the Tamiya paint is. Uh, that's what I thought, but then yeah. I don't know. I thought I heard something else. So yeah, don't. Right. I mean, your red cap's red, right? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Then the green cap's green. Yeah, but I I did I did see I, yeah usually two plus two is four yeah I did see uh, they they make acrylic and latex or not acrylic yeah. lacquer to me a pain uh, yes yeah I didn't know that now like my little hobby shop that carries the paint that I get paint I was going to get some and I saw that it was lacquer yeah. That's why you have to watch it when you go to an RC hobby shop. Yeah. For well, RC cars and RC planes. This does everything. Yeah. yeah. So those RC planes use a lot of the, the lacquer and stuff like that. Oh, oh okay. Now, I see. Now, now what you were talking about with the caps, Vallejo paint has different color caps for their paints. So that's probably what I did is I screwed up two different companies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Doesn't take see. much. I've never used Vallejo. Yeah, they're no. kind of, they're a little small, but the Tamiya will be fine. You can brush on the Tamiya. Okay. So yeah. now, the, go ahead, Nissy. No, well, I'm excited because I, I, I have a ton of paint, but then I'm trying to figure out the right shade of red. I don't want to be too red. I feel like Goldilocks. I don't want the wrong shade. So then I looked and saw, oh, I have these and I literally have red, reddish brown, which I'm thinking might be just the color I need. And then I have, a flat brown, which might these two colors might be just the colors I'm looking for. So the Vallejo paints are they all just airbrush? Hmm. No, oh. they've got paint. They've got paintbrush ones. Oh, okay. And they actually have matching colors. You can get a paint. You can get an airbrush, and you can get the uh, painting paint the same exact colors, but they're different numbers, and the cap and the caps are different. I think. Um, the airbrush is white and the paintable, the brush on are gray. Okay. I think. So um, now I have the, to make sure look, but. Do you have to thin the airbrush paint? No, out? that's that's the thing about the Vallejo ones. You don't need okay. to thin that. Okay. You can thin it a little bit. Um, I find right. that when I use the Vallejos, if I use the, um, there's, there's a thinner and then there is an airbrush enhancer fluid. So if you have a, if you get a paint that says it's airbrush ready, 
if you use that enhancer fluid, it works better. Whereas a thinner is going to make it even thinner, which then is going to right. change the color. Right. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that I means... know painting is, uh, it's just like everything else in this hobby. Yeah. There's everything yeah. from use a Crayola crayon up to. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> you're right, though. I'm really still at Crayola. Look like happy clouds and all this kind of crap. Yeah. Yeah. So, are you using an airbrush, Nissy? No, I don't have an airbrush yet because I. Okay. I'm not even there yet. Yeah. That's I'm not big. even close. Now, did you prime your building first, or are you just painting it? I did. Okay. Okay. No, the reason I'm saying that is because. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You're doing a build. It, yeah. If you didn't prime it first your color would be different more than like oh yeah i didn't realize so, that yeah because that building is that heavy dark was originally a dark the dark brown right the it was dark like reddish brown no it was like a manila color or something like a manila oh, okay. envelope yeah yeah well, that's that's one of the things that's that's really kind of funny that a lot of people don't understand that your undercoat yeah. right so when you're using lighter colors you don't want to use a dark primer you want to use a lighter primer and you know Kind of like you don't want to use a black primer if you're going to paint the thing yellow. It's yeah, <laughs> I bought I bought black primer on accident and I sprayed it on there and I was like, whoa, that's really <laughs> dark. That's not good. That's not paint's not going to show up on that. Yeah. So, so Cameron's saying the black lids are airbrushed, white lids are brushed. So okay, the thanks. mid color, so a Vallejo doesn't do the color on the lid that's in the bottle. Correct. Yep. Oh, oh, okay. Well, at least yep. I know I didn't make it completely up. I just swapped yeah. out the names of companies. I didn't. Yeah. I had the right idea. Man, you could like mix up your caps too, if you're not careful. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's why you're not supposed to have one off at a time, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry's like, I don't know, I don't do that. <laughs> I just open everything up. What's it matter? Cherry's willy nilly over there with yeah. this pink cap. Yeah. <laughs> nice. No, but you could mix them up. Yeah, but it's in most yeah. cases it's not going to matter, especially on the Vallejo paints, because um, when you take the cap off, they're actually like little squirt bottles. So now, is the Vallejo paint worth the money? It's starting to sound like it. I don't know because they're like six bucks for that little bottle. So. Oh. So again, we go back to you can do anything from Crayola crayons up to yeah, I know that, you know, but like you know, the Tamiya bottles two fifty. Right? No, I'm not saying the Tamias are bad paints. Yeah, right? it's just that if you're going to use a Tamiya in an airbrush, now you have to figure out the dilution, which is usually right. like one to twenty or so. Yeah. Right. So yeah. It, it it all depends. I mean, there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing wrong with Tamiya paints. Right. But convenience-wise, you know. it would make sense if you're using airbrush to use a Vallejo because it's already right. out. Yep. And then the other thing is, is it depends upon what you're going for. The good thing about Tamiya is Tamiya paints largely are um, basic spectrum paints, right? Right. You know, like the kid that you know, the kid that was always envied because he had the 64 crayon colors instead of the eight, like everybody else in class had. That's and the sharpener. <laughs> That's what Vallejo is. It's all of the the normal kind of color spectrum when you get into the vallejo paints and like the mig paints and all that kind of stuff now you're coming up against this is burlington northern green this is burlington northern black this is because it, it's really kind of funny all of them have different colors i mean i the company i work for we have three or four different colors of blue but it's the oh. same company blue but they're different colors yeah. right so that's what the vallejo starts doing the vallejo gives you um and there's a lot of them like true colors gives you the exact color of the trains um that that's where you go to so for buildings and things like that the, the tamayas um which are better than the applebee which is what you get at yeah right walmart right so yeah. it depends upon how you step up i mean just go to a yeah. go into a michael's and you can see that uh, what's really cool about michael's is they've got beginner intermediate uh, or they've got don't care beginner <laughs> intermediate and expert paints and you can see how the prices change as you go up and then yeah. what the color changes are as you go up too 
yeah. by looking at the names and things like that. So, well, that's so good. I learned a lot about Vallejo paint, so I'm kind of excited yeah. about that. Yeah, so, so when you ask Jerry, is the Vallejo paints worth it? It depends. You know, if you want a World War II gray for a German tank for 1943, Vallejo right. is a color, right? To yeah. me, not so yeah. much. <laughs> so, yeah. They're more specific to yep. modeling people that are, yep. you know, a tank yep. and, you know. Specifics. Yeah, you're being tank. specific. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, like, like Joe had said, Krylon's like six bucks. Yeah, but, yep. you know, like, I noticed, like, the Tamiya spray paints in the can, they're not cheap. But no. they're way different than, like, the primer in Krylon. They go right. real, really smooth. They're really yeah, smooth. They're really a finer, yeah, finer spray. Yeah, and they just, you know, they don't, they just cover way better. Because I guess it's made for that. You know, it's it's more atomized, so it really, yeah. yeah. So in, in some instances, yeah, you're right. Uh, the better paints are worth it. You know, mm -hmm. spend and, and thinking about it, like. You know the bottle for Vallejo is is like you know small kind of six bucks or five bucks I don't know how much it is, but yeah. it's already thinned out and you're really not using a lot of it. That's right? the thing is I didn't realize I'm I'm when I first got into this and I'm looking at paints and you see these tiny little bottles and you're looking yeah. at the price and I'm thinking holy cow that's really small but then when you realize how much yeah. paint you're actually using that bottle lasts for like a long yeah. time. Yeah, it's not like you know, a paint your paint your bedroom with it. Right. Probably, yeah. you know? <laughs> You're thinking like, oh man, I need a gallon of paint. Right. You, you don't, you know, you no. just a tiny little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And and you're right with the with the um the spray cans and stuff like that. Um a really good instance um that I've done that really shows me the difference. Um Tamea puts out, I think it's Tamea, yeah, Tamea puts out a fine scale um, primer. Yeah. And then I bought it it's like 11 it, bucks. It was hard yeah. to buy that can. Okay. And so and then that Krylon has, That's the, and then Krylon has their regular primer. So yeah. I get 3d parts. You guys know, I build a lot of different things in a lot of different places. So when I took my 3d parts and primed it with the Krylon, um, I lost all the detail on the right. 3d printing. Right. Oh, right. Wow. Whereas when I use the yeah. Tamiya, it's you can thin. see everything yeah. still. So that's what you, and you're right. So that's what the difference is, is it's the paints are formulated differently. So you pay. <laughs> get your own, Rick. Rick, get Penny your own. Penny for quality. Yeah, you do. And it's, it's, yeah. It's kind of yeah. like on Rick's build. It's kind of like on Rick's build for his bridge, right? You know, you can go get the, the cheap stain from Walmart or something like that, or you could use the model stain. You're going to get yeah. a difference, right? And you know this, Jerry, because probably the cheaper yeah. stains have more water in it. And the more yeah. expensive stains have a little bit less water and they go soak in better, right? So yeah. same sort of principle as paints do. They, yeah. they all have the same thing. So speaking of Rick, my question to you is, he, want, he asked me, could you use coffee? And yeah. I said, yeah, you can. It's no big deal. So, yeah. Rick, did you use coffee for your bridge or did you use something else? Yeah, and how did the coffee work? Because the last time I used coffee for a stain for something, it, like, it didn't stain it. It takes a lot. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah, you know, it's not. Now, it's, tea's a better stain, I think, than coffee is. Yeah. I've tea yeah. stained stuff before. Now, yeah. tea is really good on fabric. It stains fabric really well. I haven't really done any oh, work. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, yep. I love it. Yeah. So, like, I mean, like, your your coffee could be like that dark, right? Yep. But it's not necessarily how it's going to come out. No. Yeah. <laughs> you, Very you disappointing. Probably, yeah. You probably have to soak it for like a couple of days for it to get really dark. What size eye beams would you use for an N scale bridge, Steve? That's going to all depend upon the, the length and size of the bridge. I, I, it's it's one of those things, right? If you look at engineering, it, it depends upon what the span is. Yeah. 
you know. But any I think, you know, yeah, Go I'd ahead. say yeah. Let's see. Ho, you usually use about half inch, so probably quarter inches would be would be pretty steel good. Wool, steel wool and vinegar to stain. I've heard of that. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I guess you could, but it's like. Rick, just buy some stain. Yeah, yeah it's so Rick, much easier. It's just, just buy the stain, it's, man. It's six bucks for a, for a quart that you'll never ever run out of. <laughs> Rick, if you want some stain, I give you some stain. I mean, yeah, you can you can go over to to Jerry's house and get some on a on a rag. That'll be more than enough. Yeah, I'd give you some stain, Rick. <laughs> um, so, John, um, the big question is. Yeah, the, the, job, the big question on that one is, um, what kind of coffee is it? Is it like a Starbucks yeah. double latte with um, white sugar? And or hazelnut. Yeah, like or hazelnut. hazelnut or... Yeah. Hazelnut's a good one, John. <laughs> Maybe this time of year it could do candy cane, but then you'd be, you know. All the pumpkin spice is still out, probably. Yeah. Oh, oh, Lord spice. have mercy. <laughs> People think we're weird enough. Can you imagine if we're standing there smelling our bridges? <laughs> it ages it. So, like, what's it going to... I wonder what it's going to do. So, like, you don't even have any extra parts to, like, try things with. So, like, if you do it and you don't like it, you're pretty much up the creek. I mean, you could always glue that side to the bridge. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, if he has a piece of wood that you wouldn't necessarily see, then you could do that yeah. one. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Ginger spice. Gingerbread spice. <laughs> this is good. It comes out gray green, huh? Hmm. Like a patina, maybe. Well, Rick, good luck. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. I don't know. Just buy well, stain, Rick. <laughs> yeah, Rick, if it comes out gray green, just put the bridge on the north side of your layout. It'd be like mossy. Yeah, there you go. There's a fix for everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait, this is the bridge for his uh end scale. Table. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing, yeah, it's an end scale bridge. Don't screw it up, Rick. Well, we at least stopped him from doing that too bad. I didn't uh, I didn't see his uh, live stream that he did. Was it bad? He was having problems or what? What was the problem there? Well, he was going to start building it, and he brought Ray up. And Ray told him, what are you doing? Because <laughs> I'm going to use the CA glue to put the wood together. And... And then uh, paint the and then stain it afterwards, and and Ray kind of told him why. <laughs> so he changed his plan. Yeah, and then then other people got on and, and gave him a hard time too. So you know that's positive. That's yeah. that's positive. <laughs> so he wound up not. Uh... Good night, hey. Digger. Thanks for stopping by. So you should just get him up here and have him defend himself because we don't want to make too much bigger. <laughs> uh, the link's over there. Rick can uh, come up here if he wants. Because we weren't really too hard on him. We were just, you know, we were trying to help him to avoid disaster and build a bridge. So. so did I get it right that with the CA glue, you could use it on wood, but you have to seal yes. the wood first? Okay. Really? I don't know. You can ask Jerry about sealing the wood. I mean, I use oh. wood glue on wood. I use CA glue with wood. Yeah. What, what's the What's the problem with it? I thought you had to seal it. I didn't really understand. For what? Oh no. I usually only use CA when I'm doing when I'm doing mixed. If I'm like gluing wood to metal or something like that, or wood to plastic, I'll use CA. I like to stay the glues with what you know i'll use wood glue for my wood models i'll use 
Except for Eileen's. I'm finding Eileen's is pretty good universal type glue to use. No use that plastic. Tacky glue? plastic. Huh? The tacky yeah. glue? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That I'm I'm liking the tacky glue in the in the modeling world. I'm guessing he didn't make out. He's still waiting for some lubricant for his O rings. Maybe. I don't know. T Dwight yeah. had the answer for Rick. Yeah, I know. The same answer that we had with go out and buy stain. Let's go out and buy an airbrush that works. All the answers cost money, though. <laughs> I don't understand this Rick guy. John, the airbrush is sitting right next to the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess that's a negative. <laughs> Rick, when do you think you're going to get that bridge done? Ian, I just sang that in my head. What? <laughs> oh, come on, Eileen. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Rick, what's up with this bridge? You got to get it done so we can start this layout. It better not be like two months from now. Well, it's not that big of a bridge if it's in scale. <laughs> no, not, but. But the problem, I mean, and, and I understand Rick's problem with it when he showed it and showed us the instructions and all that. So for this little end scale bridge, it's a covered bridge, right? Yeah, it's a lot. It has like 28 pages of instructions. Yeah, it's and a he's lot. He's got to cut all of the pieces. Yeah. Um, so basically, oh, really? he's actually... It's a craftsman like, kit. Yeah, he's actually framing the entire bridge and then putting the wood on the other on the outsides of it and things like that. So he's got to frame it all up, put the bridge together, and then put the roof together. And he wants the roof to be separate so he can lift it off, I think, too. Yeah, so, but everybody said, nah, it's not that long of a bridge. There you go, Rick. That's your air airbrush. Go oh. Amazon. Go Amazon it right now. Cha ching, cha ching. It's not, not that, that much. It's it like under hundred dollars. It's not that much. The Awadas are under hundred dollars if you just get one. Yeah. Of the you get one for like seventy eight bucks. Yeah. Joe says it's a bag of sticks. <laughs> a bag of sticks. Yeah, it pretty much I, was. It I was think... pretty much. Oh, and it had some. It had some card. Uh, 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 Black paper in it too that Rick didn't know what to do with. I think you're better off getting stained, Rick, because I, I I just thought it was like a girder bridge, like a really simple like. No, I didn't see it. So I just thought it was a little simple bridge. No, no. it's a little wooden covered bridge. You know, it's really cute. Like, oh, one there's a lot new, of art to it. Yeah, one of them New England bridges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the train goes over this thing. Under, well, yeah, through, under it, through yeah, it, through it. Yep. Yeah, I've never seen a train go through a covered bridge. Neither have I. I've seen them go through snow sheds, which aren't really covered bridges. So it, is it for that, or is it for a car to go through? Well, according to Rick, it's for a train car. So, <laughs> really, I've never seen a train go through a covered bridge. That's all I'm saying. I've seen vehicles. But. It's Rick. He wants something wooden on his on his layout. Okay. All right. <laughs> Good deal. So our or maybe Santa's gonna bring you an airbrush, Nessie? Ooh. Oh me? Yeah. Oh no. Santa Santa's bag has been packed and shipped and Santa really? buying no more presents. <laughs> Never know. Oh I know. <laughs> yeah. Scott! Scott's not here. <laughs> He was walking around a few minutes ago. That was the sun. Oh, the sun. The sun. So John says he paid $150 for his. Equipment. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, they're like at least $150. Yeah, you see, this is this is where it's bad that Hobby Lobby doesn't have their 40% off coupons anymore. That's where I bought a bunch of my airbrush stuff from. I saw Badger, and I was looking at Badger on Amazon. Those were... Badger's good. pretty good. 60 80 dollars, I think, the starter yeah. ones. Badger's yeah, pretty good. Find an Iwata for 70 bucks, 80 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen I've looked, I've seen it. 
I mean, it might not be like the top of the line. Oh, no, I don't need the top of the line. But, like, it'll work. I mean, yeah. yeah. There's also the Pache kit. You can get Pache's. Yeah. Those aren't bad hand brushes either. But they're not cheap, though, are they? Well, again, I, it depends. Who's that? Where we it, go? It, oh. You can get you can get a, a a less expensive one, or you can get you know. Okay, so they have one. different different grades of yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, just like Badger. Badger actually has some really high end um, brushes too, airbrushes too. Yeah, I don't want to be the kid that spends a lot of money on equipment and doesn't use it, doesn't know how to use it, never uses it. And then I go, oh look, I have this fancy dancy thing, but yeah. I don't know how to do it. I think once you get it and start using it, you'll yeah. like it use it yeah. more yeah you know what i mean it's not as hard as you think it is yeah then you'll get rid of rattle cans because it's a lot yeah. more portable and i think where you'll run into frustrations is if you buy a cheap one like rick has a cheaper one <laughs> and you have problems with it like i have an harbor freight one and i use it once and it still works i mean and if it breaks, it breaks. I'll throw it away. I'm not going to fuss with, you know, because it costs 25 bucks. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm not going to fuss with it, you know, and I'll just buy a better gun, you know, so I know it's something that I'll do. Yeah. You know? And it's not that, I mean, yeah, I guess there's some guns that are, you know, two, three hundred bucks. Oh, you know? yeah. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't see buying one of them, but I would spend seventy dollars, eighty dollars for a, a decent gun. Well, I guess the the questions kept rising for me was, do I want gravity fed? Do I want the little thingy? The what is it underneath? Yeah, you don't do I want, want double anything. action. Like, what do I want? You definitely double want action, gravity yeah. fed. Yeah, you want a gravity fed double action. It's real simple. Yeah. They're easy to use, easy yeah. to maintain. The other one, you have more moving parts and the whole siphon thing you got to worry about because then you have to worry more about your air pressures and things like that. Yeah, it's not like you're painting your wall with it, you know, where you need that yeah. little, you need a lot. There, You can get a lot of paint in a gravity-fed cup, mm -hmm. you know, and pretty much do what you're going to do. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're spraying, like, 500 feet of track, it might be a little slower, but yeah. it might wish yeah. you had the bottle, but how often are you going to do it? Right? Yeah. Right. That's a one-time only deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. You just, you just do it and get it over with. Yeah, and yeah. so Lehigh is asking me about how I like my, my uh, cordless yeah. sprayer. So um, it's not bad. The one thing that I did find out, you have to thin your paints a little bit more. Um, in order to get them to go through because it is kind of a setup. It's a little bit of a cheaper airbrush type thing. It's really nice because it's handy and it's portable and it's really flexible. Um, so is it I, awkward to hold? Um, a little bit. Yeah. Kind of get used to it because it's oh, smaller than big, rattle like, can. You got that bottle thing, like, and then, yeah. you know, you got the, the yeah. brush on the top, you know, it's kind of yeah. like. Yeah. No, that yeah, bottle. Yeah. That bottle is that like pre? It's pre-filled with with air, and no, then once it runs pump. up, it's got an air pump in it. Oh, okay. And so it's it battery will... operated, so it lasts about thirty-five to forty minutes or so. So it's all self-contained, yep. and it's all in that like bottle thing at the yep. that hangs down. So it's yep. not like you use it once and then you toss it. No. Nope. It just fills back okay. with the air. Okay. Yep. And yeah. then you just plug it into a USB port and charge the battery back up again. Oh, okay. I didn't understand that. And they're yeah. not expensive either. No, no those not. are fairly inexpensive. Yeah. I mean, they but use like them in the dollars. Yeah. Time. Like yeah. where you might find, where you might have problems is you got this thing hanging down, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, you depending how you're where you're spraying, it could get you in the worry way. about this yep. getting in the way, you know. Yep. So I mean, I can see where it's it's good, but there's nothing like just having this to deal with. Well, like with Joe was saying, that's what I was afraid of. If I buy something too cheap, am I going to get real yeah. frustrated, real yeah. fast? Right. Don't get 
you you'll get frustrated with it. Yeah. Don't don't buy cheap and you don't have to buy expensive. Just get that one oh. that's in the middle. Yeah. The middle is usually always the best cuz yeah. it's a good value and you get decent decent operations out of it. Yeah. Stick with a good brand name. Yeah. You know. You don't be tempted to buy like the the sponsored one from Amazon, you know, that's 69 bucks or 29 bucks for everything or, you know, yeah. and that's yeah. strong. Just, you know? just go read some of the reviews. Yeah. Go yeah, that's Amazon, what I always do. You know, look yeah. somewhere in the middle price range yeah. and all that, whatever they happen to be, and then start looking at the reviews and take the one that's got four or five stars. The funny thing is, is you're going to get on those particular ones, you're going to get reviews from people who aren't modelers too. Because they're specifically, they were designed for um, for doing nails. They'd use them in nail shops. Yeah. So that's where they started with. Because you know the why the the you know when you have an airbrush that's got the the air hose connected to it, you have kind of the same problems that Jerry was saying. Yeah, it's, the hose is in the way. Yeah, the hose gets in the way, or the <laughs> hose is too short, or yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah, I think like. If you don't want to buy a compressor and and have the hose and it's probably a good way to go the cordless you know but if you have a compressor and you know i don't know i, I just like the the freedom and flexibility of just the 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 pen, a little gun yeah a little gun you know it just i think it can be more I don't know. I don't. It, no. I don't know. More delicate with it. And I don't know. Yeah. So Ian Ian asked the question: Would the cordless one be good for custom painting engines? That's kind of one of those loaded questions because it comes up to how much are you going to do, right? How yeah. detailed? How you know? Um, they're, I mean, they're, I know they're really good for buildings. I didn't have a problem with it doing buildings because buildings are mostly one color um, in most cases and you can get away with different things. Um, it doesn't give as fine a line sometimes. So, I mean, you're going to be doing more tape probably. Yeah. And Dwayne's right. Badger makes good starter sets. Pascal yeah. makes good starter sets too. Yeah. Um, and they're both pretty good line. line so like this, I, I don't agree with this totally. No. Because yeah. Uh, you can get a bigger cup. Yeah, you can just get a bigger <laughs> cup. I mean, you can just, they come with two size cups. There's a small yeah. one and a big one. <laughs> yeah, you can get a bigger cup. But like, go buy some stain, time? Rick. Go I mean, buy like, stain. <laughs> and, and I don't know that I would. The Tamiya primer is so nice and convenient in that can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would just that, use that. <laughs> I would just use that. I, I was like, yep. I don't want to bother, you know, messing with the airbrush and then cleaning that up. Cleaning it, yeah, cleaning that color to spray my other color. So yeah, and, and like, how big of an area are you going to cover? Like, I mean, yeah, maybe if you're painting like the UPS building, and it's you know huge. But I thought John did that. And yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Poor Rick. <laughs> well, I will give it. Okay, so if he was going to prime the bridge that he did, right? That was a pretty big bridge. Yeah. What? Oh, gonna, his, his bigger bridge. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to take a lot of paint. Yeah. So something like that. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't like that bottle because that's my my Harbor Freight gun is both. It's a gravity fed and a mm -hmm. bottle. And it's gravity fed, but like the but the the cup is off to the side, which I don't like. I like the more inline cup, and uh, the bottle's nice, but like it's just like you got this thing there, and it's like you can't really get a nice hold of it. You know, John does not do buildings. <laughs> or so Rick tells us. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe Rick does the buildings. I don't know. I don't know, but I want to look factory if I custom paint. Yeah. So Ian, it, it would 
it would work. Yeah. I don't see why not. But. Yeah, I mean, it's just again, it's it's a little practice and taking care of it. Um, like, can you get different size needles for your cordless? Um, my cordless, no, but there are some other cordlesses. Like the one that Vinny got, um, he can actually put his Atwata on there. Oh, oh I yeah. remember seeing him do yeah. that. He was able to put his Atwata on there. So some of them will, some of them won't. It depends upon what the the fasteners are. For, for some reason, mine doesn't, but I could always put an adapter on it and adapt it out. Yeah. Because I think one of the things is, is I actually have a different uh, connector on one of my airbrushes. And that was the one that I was trying to use. So it might have been that the connector that I put on there wasn't right to match up with the can. Right. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. So I think either way he yeah. could go. I mean. Yeah. It just, would probably work. Uh, in, you know, in, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you're looking for a nice small contained system, you get one of those. Like I said, go out, out and get one that's that's higher rated. And I would just say get it off of Amazon. That's the easiest place to get it. Yeah, read reviews and see what's out there and yeah, buy a good one. Don't buy a cheap one. Yeah. Find you know what you do, Ian? Find out what Rick bought. And then don't buy that one. Get one of the other ones. But like the one that Rick got, he got for Christmas last year, I think, yeah. right? No, I mean, I thought it was a good one. I no, it was a good I, deal. I mean, yeah, like, I thought but it was a was popular good, deal. Yeah. You know, it it was like popular. And Amazon has them, you know, yeah. where, you know, you're getting everything. You know, you're getting the compressor, you're getting the gun. And you think, you know, well, it's a good deal. And it is a good yeah. deal, right? Because you still got the compressor. But like maybe the gun is just isn't the best gun. It, you know, I don't, maybe, like, I know people, like, say to, some people don't really clean their guns well. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know, you know, I, I can only talk about, like, my HVLP gun that I use for woodworking. I take it apart every time. I, I put something through it, take it totally apart. So, like, I know, like, airbrush people that don't take their stuff apart. And they're just, you know, they'll just blow out between colors. And like, so I think that, like, when you do that and you don't take it totally apart to give it a good cleaning, mm -hmm. it doesn't get clean. Yeah. And it, you want it, you wind up with problems yeah. later. You know, yeah, like, sure. for instance, like, I, I bought some cheap HVLP Harbor Freight guns that were like, nine bucks 16 bucks 12 bucks something like that they're good for one time and that's it especially if you're using like an oil-based stain and that's what i was using so you know the one time i used it cleaned it really good and then i went to use it again so i got a big cup full of stain and now it's not working oh it's messing up yeah so now i'm like I got this cup of stain. I got to take it apart, and like you know, now you got to deal with this problem because it's not working. So yep. I just use them for something like that and throw them away because they're, they're you can't clean them. Well, even when you clean them, you can't clean them. Yeah. Well, it looks enough. like I got to go. Looks like the white. All right, home. Steve. Bye, right. Steve. Thanks okay. for hanging out. Yeah, thanks for uh, listening. And, and yeah, and yeah, John's got another good comment, too. It's about the paint as well, what kind of paint you put through it. So there's a lot of good things out there and all that. So just kind of mm. take your time and, and play with them, just like everything else. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. See you, Steve. See you later. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, thanks for being on. It was good. Yeah, probably, like, if you start using those upper, upper apple barrel paints in your gun probably it's not you know, I mean, they're not really made for it they're not made for it you know mm -hmm. but you're making a you're making it work and maybe you run into problems later and you probably it's okay if you're going to put it in a 25 dollar gun but you're not going to put it in your 100 dollar gun you know i wouldn't like do something like that you know yeah See you, Steve. Thanks for hanging out. Nobody else wants to come up. Rick Bailey, what are you doing, Rick? Rick's hiding. He's hiding. 
Uh, He's in that? hiding. Yeah, I real I, I didn't see uh, how big and detailed this bridge was. <laughs> so it sounds like there's a lot of little parts to stain. A lot, a lot of cutting. Yeah. Wonder if he's got a chopper. I think he does. I think he does. I gave him a chopper. <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> you say. He said, do you really want Nisi and Rick both on at the same time? I can control them. Well, you come up, Cameron. <laughs> or John 2618, you can come up. Just take pictures. Just take pictures. Take practice. No. Oh. <laughs> <But> <laughs> what? That's the part that's fun. Trying to get the kids in the bath. Okay. Got to get a blade for my chopper. Yeah, they're really cheap, Rick. <laughs> I thought I gave you some, but I guess I did. Well, Rick, if you come over, I'll give you a blade and some stain. <laughs> Everybody to Jerry's on the double. <laughs> free stain and free blades. See you, Joe. Have a good night, buddy. Take care. One, one minute. Need to get the headset. Okay, here he comes. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Well, I'm excited. I learned about the paints. I'm excited about that. Yeah. So now you can uh, start your building. Are you going? You're going to brush it on, right? Gonna yeah, brush. I'm going to do brush on. That's cool. Yeah. Did you talk about what your building is going to be? What it's going to be? Yeah. Well, we know it's the courthouse. Oh, that's what it's going to be. Yeah, it's the courthouse. I already built it. We built it. We already did the. Where's it at? Where's it at? There it is. Oh, okay. That looks yeah. cool. Yeah. And that's end scale. That's end scale. Where's it going? Up on your top? I, it's not. I'm just building it for the build. And then if it turns out okay, then I'm going to do it as a giveaway because. Oh, that's cool. I had the HO kit to build for my layout. So, okay. So you did both. Are you going to do a video of your HO build too or no? Probably not, because I feel like that would just be redundant. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. And you're going to... You I have the footprint. I have the footprint for it already figured out on my layout, because I had done cardstock footprints of all the buildings that I wanted. So okay. I know it will fit. And you're going to keep it as a courthouse? Yeah, I'm going to keep it as a courthouse. Oh, cool. Because I'll have the... That way, there will have the police station, the fire department, and... Oh, okay. So you got them all, then. Yeah, then I'll have everybody. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I really wanted the older version, the original version. The original version, it said um, it was the municipal building, and okay. it said police over it. And then they changed it and made it the courthouse, and it, I don't think it says police. It says something else on it, but it doesn't matter. But, like, is that in the stone, or is that just in a sign that you put on it? The sticky, the sticky sign that you put on it. You could change it though, right? You could, but I don't have that, uh, you know, ability. There's Mr. Nisi now. They can't see you. There you are. <laughs> Such a goober. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so yeah, I could probably do my own sticker, but yeah, I don't feel confident enough yet to get to that point. So to have companies that do it really not that expensive pappy got like i don't know if you saw pappy's uh Sher sherwin williams truck um he got that done by somebody it was like nine oh. bucks oh. it was a whole bunch of stickers oh yeah just well. for everything messy I know, but they have to be like legit companies, not somebody that's like, yes, I will take your money and you will get nothing in return. Oh, yeah. No, they're, they're legitimate companies. Yeah. Not like uh, what's going on now. Poor Artie. Did you see Artie? He got taken so bad by that company on Facebook. But he got his money back. So I didn't know that that's where this all started on Facebook. Yeah. Because Chuck had came into a live stream and talked about it. CDP 1965 Chuck, yeah. and he talked about it. And yeah, Artie said at the time, Artie says, Yeah, I ordered from them, I'm still waiting for it. Blah blah blah. Yeah. And then <clears throat> for Chuck, Chuck ordered four of them. 
Yeah. Time to call the bank and, and stop payment because yeah. yeah. What's Mr. Nissy doing over there? Oh, he just came in from work and he stopped at the grocery store. So he's putting away the ice and all that kind of stuff. Oh, that's nice. Don't judge me for buying ice. He already gives me a hard time. It's time and water, but I. That's okay. That's like okay. So he's in there making noise. It's okay. So that's it. So you're going to paint your model tonight, maybe? Well, I was going to start doing it, but. I It'll think I'm pro I'm procrastinating, but then it's a good thing I pro I procrastinated because I ended up finding the exact paint that I want, so it worked out in that regard. Yeah, where do you and go I, for like things like that? For paint and stuff. Yeah. Usually over to St. Petersburg, there is a my my hobby shop. And we go over there and I get paint there, but there's a. We call it like a, a box store hobby shop that's like 15 minutes from me. Like I could go there to get stuff, but I hate to give them my money if I can go to a mom and pop store. Yeah. What is it like? Uh, what's the name of it? The the regular store, is, I think it's called Hobby Town. Yeah, we used to have them up here. <laughs> and they disappeared. Yeah, there's three of them in, our, in the Tampa Bay area. This last time that I went in there, we're two of the sweetest guys. Usually you go in there and they're looking at you like sideways, like you're going to yeah. steal something and they don't want to help you. And this time yeah. they were like super nice and very helpful. Yeah. They have a lot of everything, not just remote control, a lot of remote control right. stuff. Yeah. They're yeah. more like remote control people. Yeah. yeah. We used to have one and it closed and they're, they're gone. I just figured they're all gone. That's why I asked what it was. Yeah. No. They're the only ones that I know that are that big. Yeah. It's the same store that's been there forever. I used to take my kids there for Thomas the Train story time, like once a week for... Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Hey, Joe. How you doing, Joey? <laughs> Late Night Model Railroad. This is the guy that... Is, his name is Joey. Uh -huh. I feel bad because... The, the icons or whatever you call the little art pictures are so small. And I just realized he's the same guy that's always in the Kaboo Stop Hobbies. And I never say hi to him. <laughs> I feel bad. Like, I'm Joey? a snob. Joey's in Kaboo Ho Shop Hobbies? I don't think so. I think so. so. I don't think so. No? I don't think so. Oh, I'm glad know. I don't say hi to him then because I wouldn't know who I was saying hi to. Him. Joe, do you go in the Kaboo Stop Hobbies? On Wednesday nights? On Wednesday nights? I don't think that's man, not me. Like that. Oh, good. Oh, good. 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 Then I'm not being uh, a snob. Okay. No. Uh, because his picture looks a lot like the one that I'm seeing in the Kaboo yeah. Stop Hobby. It's so hard to see them darn little things. Okay. I mean, some of them, some of them are more, you know, like mine is pretty much easy to identify. And like He's Joe's, like, Joe Joe yeah, Raiders yeah. is easy to see. Yeah, but some of them are hard to identify. What's up, Cameron? No, yeah, not much. Turn down your volume a little bit. Or your don't talk so close to your mic. You got some stained wood there. What did yep. you use for stain? Real stain? Coffee. No, how's that? Is it still out? Uh talk a little bit. Uh, a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to say when you <laughs> say two things. Well, I don't. Oh, here, let me. Okay, I found the. It's a good idea. I don't know what Joe's. I don't. It's hard to tell what that is a picture of for late night model railroad. Oh, Ian, is it the guy that you think I'm talking? Is his name William? So he looks a lot like late night. I, now I gotta. It's gonna drive me nuts until I know who that person is. William A. He comes in the live streams a lot. He so maybe goes, he goes in the HO and the N scale. N scale. One. Yeah. He's always, he's, he buys a ton of stuff. There. He's the one. Okay. Where How does that sound? I found out about that. Oh, okay. How did you find out about it, Missy? I don't know. I just fell upon it on uh, YouTube. I guess. Oh, because I found out about it. William did a video about it. Oh, no. I just I fell upon them. It. Yeah. Bye, Joel, Ian. It's a PRR caboose. Uh, Ian. 
He is leaving. He is? Where did yeah. he send him? So gotta go see y'all. Oh, see you, Ian. Have a good night. Thanks for coming by. What so, Cameron, what are you building? Yeah, what are you working on there, Cameron? Well, first, is my mic softer, louder? Yeah, well, you're good. Gonna... Okay. <laughs> so, this is the roof of my head house that I'm working on for my coal mine. Oh, wow. I don't know. I might be able to make them, friend. Let me. Look at that. That's pretty cool. What kind of kit is that? Coal mine? Scratch build. Are you scratch build that? Yeah. Look at that. That's pretty neat. So, nothing too special. And what did you <laughs> Nothing too, just a little something I threw together. <laughs> What's you used for stain? Uh, Vallejo black paint and IPA. Oh, so you just thin down for all your stain colors? Yeah. That's all I did for that. You just put it like in a bag and put the solution in there, and then just how long did you leave it for? Just a couple seconds. No, I did think I made a little bit too much. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> So I'll be set for a while. Just a bit. How much paint is that? How much paint did you use? Mm, a couple bottles? No, no, that's... that's all that's, alcohol. That's all alcohol, probably. Let me, let me get something to kind of... I'm not good with measuring, so... I'm hey, Jeff. Wow. That's a lot. That's like a... It's like a Chinese container, like a quart. <laughs> sweet pint. and sour. That's sweet and sour oh. sauce. <laughs> so there's probably about an eighth of a teaspoon of paint in it. That's, yeah, that's all? It. The rest of it's yeah. alcohol. Wow. Man, like I said, Vallejo goes a long way. So even though it's five bucks a bottle, it lasts. So you were able to get time. all those tones that you got there on that little piece you're showing. That's that's just from what the mixture of wood that was on there. Okay. Nice. Is that the raw wood there or stained wood that we're looking at right there? That's the stained wood. That's, uh, see, I that's can't. some of the stained wood. Okay. Oh, with me. Yeah. And then that's just what the I got this is you. one of the thicker pieces, but yeah. It's just, yeah. yeah, ages it. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I think Rick could do that. And the nice thing about the IPA is it just dry, it, it evaporates so fast. It dries so fast. Yeah. Do you it don't have a problem with warping or anything like that with the wood? It's all fuzzy. So sure it not does. really, even though it is thin. Yeah. yeah. I just, for in this case, I just added some braces to it. On the yeah. Yeah. I can get it to work right. Come on. So now, did you uh, build this from a, from a plan? No, it was just something that was kind of put together. What I thought was going to look right for it, and went with it. Hmm. Well, looks pretty good. So, yeah, I'm impressed. Usually, I have something in my head, and it does not turn out the way I had it in my head. <laughs> So yeah, that's just my, that's been my last few live streams that I've been watching. So were you drinking when you had it in your head and you were sober when you were doing it? Who are you asking this to? <laughs> you. Probably. I don't you. drink. You? Okay. Because <laughs> sometimes that can affect how things come in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. Joey, what's up? What are you working on, Joe? So Joe used to, his channel name used to be just Joey Buxton. Just in case. Maybe, I don't know how long he's been around. Like February. 
February, March is when I started coming on the scene. So maybe you might know him from Joey too. From his Joey name. I forget it. I forget if it was just Joey Buxick or Joey Buxick Mono Railroad. I can't remember. Totally know that feeling, Nessie. <laughs> oh, I don't like coffee either. That stuff's nasty. Oh. You don't like coffee? You don't drink coffee? It makes me nauseous just to smell it. Really? Yeah. It was only twice in my life that it smelled good, and both times I was pregnant. <laughs> really? I oh. love I love coffee. My husband makes it every morning, and I just I have to bury my head in the covers and the pillow. I can't. Are you a tea drinker? Nope. Iced tea, no? No. It's pretty no. much water. Water? Water. Periodic. Every once in a while, I'll have like a Sprite. Yeah. Once in a while, I'll have like a drink, but yeah, just mostly water. I'm boring. That's okay. I drink a lot of water too. But I do like coffee. Ugh. You don't like coffee, huh? My daughter loves it. She's all about Starbucks, like coffee. She's got chilled coffee in the refrigerator. It's ridiculous. Me, I'm just like, oh, I don't even like in ice cream. Nothing, nothing. I can't stand it. I don't know why. Just, yeah, it's okay. I don't like the smell of some things, too. It's not bad. Are you all ready for Christmas? Yeah, actually. Are you? Yeah. Got all my trees up. Got all your trees up. <laughs> coffee sucks. Dwayne, you you don't drink coffee either? <laughs> coffee so haters can... unite. <laughs> You're a truck driver and you don't drink coffee? Oh. Oh, chocolate. How about the chocolate? Now Rick's got me. I do love the chocolate. Chocolate. I was allergic to chocolate when I was little and could not have any chocolate. So I'm all about the chocolate now. Oh, really? Yeah, it was bad. Huh. Childhood ruined. Hot chocolate? Oh, any kind of chocolate. Okay. Like drinking hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Especially when you go camping and it's like really cold outside. Liquid gold. It's oh. got that right. Hot nope. cocoa. Hey, Dwayne, I can't believe you don't drink coffee, Dwayne. I thought every truck driver drank coffee. Wow. So do you do like energy drinks there, Dwayne? Like it's all hyped up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> 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 I'm probably the worst since I don't drink I drink soda, but that's about it. Other than water. I used to drink a lot of soda. I try to cut that out. So Rick says hot cocoa with marshmallows? Oh, yeah. So I don't like the marshmallows. Oh. Yeah, my husband doesn't like marshmallows either. But he likes the fluff. That, like, fluff nutter. You ever had a fluff nutter? No, I don't like that. Yeah, he loves that. You're diabetic. So, like, is, oh. is coffee bad for a diabetic? I don't know. Huh? You could drink it black. Don't put anything in it. I don't know. Hot cocoa with Baileys. Uh, I guess so. Rick Baileys. Rick Baileys. Rick Baileys. Baileys hot, Irish hot cream. Cocoa. Hot cocoa with the Bailey family. <laughs> <laughs> fluff or nutter. Yeah, fluff nutter. Yeah. Never heard of that till the husband. What is it? It's a uh, marshmallow fluff and a peanut butter and peanut butter sandwich. It looks uh, disgusting. I will not try it. <laughs> uh, I don't like I don't like that fluff stuff. It's not real marshmallows to me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, peanut butter and Nutella is good. I like Nutella. Oh, I've never tried that. Nutella is good. Yeah. Never had the peanut butter. But... I never tried. We had Nutella all the time when my daughter still lived at home, but I never, I never tried it. Just bought it for her. I put bananas in it too. Oh God! What are you, Elvis Presley? Oh. In your fluffer noter, you put bananas in there. That's bananas. 
Rick, watching Cameron should inspire you to go work on your bridge. Yeah, Rick, did you check out his stain? He used IPA and uh, paint. There it is. <laughs> That's all he used, Rick. And he made a ton of it, so he's got a ton of stain left over. Yeah, I'll be building a lot of wood kits here, <laughs> whether I like it or not. You know the sucky part is like that hobby wood is expensive. Mm. It is. It's not cheap. It's like sixty bucks for like a bag of eighty pieces, maybe. It's a lot of money for wood. So your so balsa sixteenth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch, three feet long was two bucks. How many is in there? A bunch? Five, Five, Five pieces. It's a lot of money. Two bucks. So do you use a lot of balsa wood or is it base wood? Basswood? 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 Basswood. I went with balsa because it was cheaper, but really. Yeah, I don't really have an opinion on it. Yeah, I don't know why it's so expensive. <laughs> but it is, because you're not getting much there. Paper packaging. Yeah. You buy it for, you buy four for three bucks. Well, they gotta sh they got to ship it over, Jerry. Two dollars. Yeah, those containers aren't cheap. I like it. Yeah, that's where it comes from, huh? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> You put a lot of balsa wood in a container. <laughs> that don't weigh much either. Means spending money. What means spending money, Dwayne? Buying wood. I'm jealous. No. I don't know. You can do it too, Rick. Get to going. Jerry's all about the Baltic birch. Yeah. You know, and I tried like uh, cutting stuff down. It's too hard to cut that stuff down. Baltic birch to make little pieces like that. Mm -hmm. That's a pain. <laughs> I mean, yeah, as much as you, you hate to do it, but, you know, sometimes you got to spend the money. Yeah. Buying paint and stain. Yeah. yeah. All right. I better I run so I can go visit with the husband. All right, thanks for hanging out. All right, thanks for having me. Yeah, get the painting on your building. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, chop, chop. Let's go. Chop, chop. Bye, guys. Yeah, I'm going to call on the night, too. I've been on for an hour and a half. So it Works for me. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, Cameron. That building is looking yeah. pretty good, man. Maybe thanks, we can... Uh, Rick Bailey, I mean, you should... Get to it, Rick. Uh, ain't nothing but a thing. Just get going. Start building. All right, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks for hanging out with me. Take care and see you somewhere tomorrow. I don't know. Have a good night. See you.